antibiotic resistant superbugs are pretty much everywhere, especially in hospitals. Since 1940s, we've made more and more antibiotics, but now bugs have gotten resistant to them and we could throw new antibiotics at them, but they're pretty good at adapting and evolving by just natural evolution. Since these pathogens are so resistant, there aren't any antibiotics to treat patients with. And in some cases, uh, these uh, situations are lethal. So what we've created are these quantum dots. With these superoxides, you can kind of overdose bacteria with this oxidative stress, which makes them really sensitive to antibiotics. We came up with a nanoparticle therapy that when exposed to light would create superoxides. So together, I always call it a one-two punch that the superoxide flux stops the countermeasures that allows the antibiotics to do their work. And together, this therapy has been very effective where we don't need to come up with new antibiotics every day. We could go back at the ones that we have and resensitize them against the superbugs. The great thing about the quantum dots is that, you know, they are highly inexpensive. They can be very easily scaled up, which is a big advantage over, you know, conventional small molecule-based antibiotics. We would like to create almost an endless list of therapies with this nanomedicine. We just want to be one step or even 100 steps ahead, not 50 steps back that we are in now.